Adelaide is a city in South Australia and it's one heck of a complicated place geologically speaking. The rocks here are ancient and have undergone several tectonic events that have led to a complex and somewhat confusing array of geological features in present day. Beneath the sediments of the Murray Basin is a truly ancient volcanic arc that roared to life at some point 800 million years ago. This volcanic arc was formed by subduction processes and it released violent explosive eruptions with pyroclastic flows that covered the then barren land beneath vast amounts of volcanic material. But along with this, the area also experienced another tectonic event. A rift zone formed to the west of the arc 830 million years ago, and the two may have occurred simultaneously. This rift is known as the Adelaide Fault Belt, and it's a geosyncline. A geosyncline is a large scale depression in the Earth's crust that's filled with thick sequences of sedimentary and volcanic rocks. This geosyncline rifted at least five times in its history, and the reason it formed is thought to be associated with the breakup of the supercontinent known as Rodinia. This rift basin was later to form during the Delamarian orogeny approximately 514 to 500 million years ago, when the region experienced significant tectonic compression due to a subduction event in western Victoria, which led to the folding, faulting and metamorphism of the sedimentary and volcanic rocks in the geosyncline. This orogeny uplifted the region from a flat basin to towering mountain peaks and it transformed the region into a complex fold belt as well as depositing vast mineral wealth in the process. If you live in Adelaide you are literally a short drive to the goldfields. But this video is about the largely hidden Nakara volcanic arc. This arc is now being investigated with the suspicion that it holds vast untapped mineral wealth in the form of copper and gold porphyritic deposits along with a host of other metals and rare earth elements. Porphyry intrusions occur primarily at the end stages of volcanism as the magmatic system begins to die down. Small scale mining was conducted in very specific areas around this arc in the early days of the gold rush, but it wasn't known to be a volcanic arc back then. It's only when we view the region under magnetics that we can get an idea of just how vast this arc stretches, and boy is it a big one. When this arc roared to life, the erosion of it filled the Adelaide geosyncline with volcanic deposits along with sedimentary deposits that dominate it. The porphyry intrusions of the Nakara volcanic arc are thought to host gold and copper in economical amounts, meaning it could be rich enough to mine on a large scale, and exploration and drilling are still underway to deduce the richest areas of the arc. Due to its age, the exact identity of the oceanic plate involved in the subduction process leading to the formation of the Nakara volcanic arc is not precisely known, but can be referred to as the Proto-Pacific Oceanic Plate, which subducted from the west to the east beneath the stable continental craton known as the Gaula Craton, which is truly ancient in its age, with its formation dating all the way back to 4 billion years ago. As a side note, if you're enjoying this video, please click the like button to help YouTube recommend it to others. We also have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel, only if you have the means of course, and you can find that both in the description and in the pinned comment down below. If you've watched the previous video that I've made on a Stavely Volcanic Arc, link down below, you'd know that its birth was during the Cambrian 520 million years ago. This coincides with the birth of the Delamarian orogeny in the Adelaide Geosyncline which squashed, bended and buckled the sediments and volcanic material, forming a vast and towering mountain range in the process. The Stavely Volcanic Arc owes its existence to the subduction event that took place when the Paleo-Pacific Ocean subducted beneath the Indo-Australian tectonic plate. And as mentioned before, the effects of this subduction event extended beyond Victoria, and it reignited the ancient fault lines within the Adelaide Geosyncline with recent depositions of granites and mafic to intermediate rocks like diorite and gabbro occurring among several other intrusive rock types. It's not only gold and copper that's being explored, deposits of kaolin and rare earth elements are linked to this arc. The tectonic collision that formed the Stavely Volcanic Arc in Victoria are directly related to causing the Delamarian orogeny. We'll continue to explore more of these in future episodes. So until then, thanks for watching.